Well, good good morning, uh, Catalina Fiddles Church and Friends. It's Pastor John Stone here with our Tuesday morning devotion, which is coming to us from Acts. And we're in Acts chapter 5 today with a very uh, famous or infamous story, you might add. It's one you know. It's about Ananias and Sapphira, and it's a very serious story. So let's jump right in. Now, a man named Ananias, together with his wife Sapphira, also sold a piece of property. With his wife's full knowledge, he kept back part of the money for himself, but brought the rest and put it at the apostles' feet. Then Peter said, Ananias, how is it that Satan has so filled your heart that you have lied to the Holy Spirit and have kept for yourself some of the money you received for the land? Didn't it belong to you before it was sold? And after it was sold, was it the money at your disposal? What made you think of doing such a thing? You have not lied just to human beings, but you've lied to God. When Ananias heard this, he fell down and died, and great fear seized all who heard what had happened. Then some young men came forward and wrapped up his body and carried him out and buried him. About three hours later, his wife came in, not knowing what had happened, and Peter asked her, Tell me, is this the price you and Ananias got for the land? Yes, she said, this is the price. Peter said to her, How could you conspire to test the Spirit of the Lord? Listen, the feet of the men who buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out also. At that moment, she fell down at his feet and died. Then the young men came in, and finding her dead, carried her out and buried her beside her husband. Great fear seized the whole church and all who heard about these events. And so this sermon would be entitled, Burying Two People in One Day. So, I, I mean, there's a couple things we learn from this. Um, I think the first one is that God was giving testimony to the power of the apostles. You realize that none of the New Testament had been written yet, and yet the gospel in its fullness and in its power had come through uh, the death and resurrection of Jesus and the giving of the Holy Spirit. And who do you listen to? I mean, do you listen to the Old Testament? Do you listen to the Jewish people? And one thing God is doing here is he's saying, these are my unique men. There, there aren't going to be a lot of apostles. And as we're writing the New Testament, I want you to listen to apostles. And if you lie to an apostle, it's like you're lying to me. And so, because they lied to the apostles... They died. If you lie to me, the pastor, John Stone, you're not going to die. And this is not teaching that if you lie to the church, you die. Uh, You're going to die. But he's saying something that was really unique in history. And While people continue to have the gifts of the Spirit, this this really unique office of apostle is being testified to here by God. Like, listen to these men. If If you don't listen to them, and if you lie to them, you die. That's the first big lesson here. But I think for us, more applicably is... Ananias and Sapphira forfeited their lives because they began to care what other men thought about them. They didn't actually do this for God. They did it so they would look good in the eyes of other men. We're told right before this chapter starts in chapter 4, verse 36, Joseph, a Levite from from Cyrus, whom the apostles called Barnabas, sold a field he owned and brought the money and put it at the apostles' feet. And I'm sure that Barnabas, whose original name was Joseph, had such, people were so impressed by that and and had such joy and it was used to feed people that Ananias and Sapphira in some way, and we're told, conspired to do the same thing. They wanted to give some money so that it looked like they were generous. It looked like they were committed to the cause of the church, but in fact, they kept some back as their own and they lied. And, And this really is... Uh, teaching us that we're to do things for God and not for men. What men think about what we do, whether men see it and understand it is really unimportant. The, the, the question is, am I giving my best to God? We're going to see this over and over as we go through Leviticus, that we're to offer the best offering. But what this is really teaching us is be careful why you're doing what you're doing. Are you doing it because it pleases God? Are you doing it because you love God? Are you doing it because you want to love him and his church and his people? Are you doing it to impress men? Doing it for God leads to life. Doing it to impress men leads to death. Uh, What a great passage on Ananias and Sapphira. I hope this blesses you, and I look forward to seeing you virtually Sunday or seeing you in person Sunday. Thanks so much, and have a great day and a great week.